Hi everyone, I'm Kate DeMoss. I'm clinical lead and a senior trainer for the Doran Companies. And I want to show those of you who are working from home offices some uh, quick ways you can do some self-massage on your hands, arms, your shoulders, and mid-back. So let's start with um, your hand, all right? You can uh, do some strokes like this using the opposite hand. You can grab and wiggle each finger. You can pinch with the opposite hand the web between your thumb and your first finger and open and close your thumb. So the motion you're doing with your thumb is uh, taking away from uh, your hand and back toward the index finger as you're doing that pinch move. That helps open this area up. And if you're having some problems along your thumb here, you can do some stroking uh, things like this. Now, as we're getting into the forearm, which can also contribute to our uh, discomfort in the hand, uh, we're going to pinch the arm and rotate the hand. And as you can see, I'm moving where my thumb is, I'm moving my arm, getting both sides. If you want a little bit more pressure than you can put on with the opposite hand, uh, you can take something like a folded towel, sit down at a table, and using this part of the opposite arm, you can, hanging your hand over the side, um, extend your fingers back uh, toward uh, the table, and just come down the arm with a wiggle motion with this arm. I'm doing this. So I'm doing this. I can turn my arm and do the other. This is for those of you who want more pressure. So we're basically working on the muscles along the length. As we're getting into the upper arm, grab and squeeze. If you want, hook your fingers like this and do some strokes along the length of the muscles. And when you want to get into your triceps here, again, I'll put my hand on top of my head and come to the back and do some squeezing like this. You can reach up and kind of do some massage on your upper back, but I find it's more effective to take something like a tennis ball or say uh, a solid rubber ball or something similar to this and use this to do the pressure. I can get a better angle and more pressure. So if I'm working this way, I'm going to take I extend this muscle to get maximum length on it and just rub along the muscle. If I find a really tender spot, I can stop and I can hold it. And I can change the angle. So in this ca that case, I was coming straight up from basically right around here and coming up like this before I was turning my head and doing this. If you happen to have something like a theracane or a back knobber like I have, you can use this to reach into the muscles and uh, the upper back. Uh, you would find a spot with the knob and pull, maybe wiggle your shoulder a little bit. If you don't have something like this and you do have a foam roller, I happen to have a, a knobby one, but it's, that's not necessary. The smooth foam ro rollers are just fine. I let line your back. And 
and position the roller. So it's right around the middle of your back. Put your hands so your elbows are, your, support your head, put your elbows toward the ceiling. This opens the shoulder blades up the most so you can get into those muscles between your shoulder blades the best. And I'm just rolling up and down again. If you find a spot that's really tender, just hold it there on the spot until the muscles relax. And you can continue that. 